All right, guys, so we're really making good progress on this now. We're over the halfway point. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do this guy. And so in the original, this is what it looks like. Um, you can see it's a kind of a cloudy day, but the sun just sort of still comes out, and there's this really bright part down here. Um, there and then, the, of course, the light peeks through the thinner parts of the clouds here and here and here. But then this is where the clouds get really heavy. That's where the dark is. Just keep in mind the dark of the clouds is where the cloud is the thickest. Where it's the thinnest, that's where the most light can get through, and that's where it's going to be the lightest. It's typically down here towards the horizon. Okay? So, I'm going to show you how to do this. It's essential that you observe with this. Very, very essential. Uh, because there's lots of little details and little shapes in here and things like that, that if you're not looking, you're not going to do it right. So, I'm going to start off just like I did with the train tracks, and I'm just going to get a whole bunch of pencil. And it really doesn't matter how you do this. I'm just going to get a whole bunch of pencil on in the sky. Now I'm going to leave... I'm going to leave the bottom, like this part, kind of untouched. Maybe a little bit of pencil, but not, not a lot. Because remember, where the dark stuff is at the top. Kind of, kind of color it in, color it in. And then I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to, I'm going to try to smooth it all out everywhere. I'm going to introduce another tool to you. Um, maybe, maybe in two weeks, when you guys are looking at these, uh, just, just so there's an easier way to blend. It's called a blending stump. For now, though, it's kind of nice to do it with your hands. Just because it, I don't know. I I think it kind of it kind of is nice to see what happens to the graphite when you spread it around like this with your finger. You have more control over it. Okay, so it's a good start, and really, I mean, skies do so many different things. Now this this certain this guy is cloudy. So I am going to show you how to do that, but but if you look at this again, it almost looks all right like that. It just looks like maybe it's like the overcast day and it's completely everything's cloudy and it's just one big cloud and it's the same thickness all the way around so you can't see any clouds or anything like that it's just gray and then maybe a little bit of light here but again I'm going to show you how to do this so the trick to clouds is to make it look soft and so you can't have any hard edges everything has to be soft so what we're going to do is where it's dark or where all the values are dark I'm going to start, and again, this now, the circular motion is going to be very useful here. Because again, it's clouds. So you're going to try to make it look as soft as possible. Again, you don't want any of the edges. Because it'll just look unnatural if you do it with an edge. And again, look at the shapes in the clouds. And just don't overthink it. All right. I'll show you what I mean in just a second by not overthinking it. Okay. If you look at this up here, this shape right here, That's kind of what I got going on here. This is what I'm. That's what I'm doing. 
But remember, I don't have to draw a line. See, I'm just kind of tracing it out, kind of filling it in, and it creates those edges. That's what clouds are. come down here and then there's like more value variation here do you guys see what that is right there that line that's actually just my table I have so many different and see that's what you want to make sure that you're on a surface that's smooth like our the tables that you guys work on so there aren't those little little textures that have come up like it's obviously Clouds don't have a big line like that. That's okay though, I will, uh, that'll get fixed towards the end. You see how I'm working with that though? And then here there's like this like pointy thing. And then there's kind of like this little thing down here. So you can kind of draw that out a little bit. There you go. So that's kind of a good start. It's gonna look, you know, really weird at first and it's gonna have a lot of little texture. You know, if I zoom in on that, I'll show you. You'll see a lot, like just a ton of texture. You know, in real clouds, you don't see that. You know, you don't see all those little details, but we're gonna smooth that out. I'll show you that that'll make sense in a little bit, so. I'm gonna take a break now so you guys can kind of digest that and then I'll come back and finish up the clouds.